All right. Box set two from Rhino uh, of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Now, on this one, we have uh, two Joel episodes and one Mike episode. And uh, the fourth disc is Shorts Volume 1. Now, some people had a problem uh, with the uh, shorts done like this. Uh, instead of having, like, a full episode, a whole bunch of the shorts. Uh, I don't know the exact reason. I do theorize that uh, Rhino was just uh, afraid they'd be able to not get uh, some of the episodes uh, that these shorts are attached to. So, hey, why don't we just release them this way so you can uh, watch them like that. And, you know, to be honest, that wasn't such a bad trade. Uh, I don't know, it might have been a good idea to maybe put them as extras on some of these discs. Because uh, a lot of these don't have extras. Matter of fact, uh, <coughs> the first couple of box sets don't really have special features. Uh, eventually they did start to put in the special features, uh, but not this time around. Now, also this time around, uh, you don't get to watch uh, the episodes uh, without Mystery Science Theater ripping on them. Oh, too bad. Uh, you can't appreciate Angel's Revenge all by yourself. Uh, let's see, let me just do a quick rundown. Angel's Revenge is a cheap, 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 I suspect, I think it's a TV movie. Uh, and it had a couple of different names. It's um, it's a very bad ripoff of sort of the exploitation kind of genre and, um, and Charlie's Angels. Matter of fact, there's a sequence that has even the Charlie's Angels theme music in there. I don't know how the fuck that got through. Um, and uh, Cave Dwellers is a uh, Miles O'Keefe movie. It's actually the sequel to Ator. Uh, I think it's called The Fighting Eagle, which is the first one. And Cave Dwellers actually had a different name. Um, but uh, in distribution during the 80s, uh, it got a different name. Uh, 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 and also Pod People, which was a weird E.T. slasher movie hybrid of an alien crashes in some forest and there's a there's a woman and her son and her uncle I, 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 uncle and uh, oh there's a really awful republican rock band uh taking a vacation in a camper uh, and they get kind of stranded and they stay at the cabin and these aliens came down that looked like Alf with a snout. And uh, uh, one of the, a, a, a poacher like kills most of the babies, and one gets away and stays with the boy. And the mother, I guess, blames all humans and tries to kill them all. And is that right? Is that a good explanation of the film? There's no good way to explain it. It sucks. And. Uh, <clears throat> it's also foreign, so it's dubbed, and I think there's like only three people who did the voices. Uh, it, it does seem like all the women and the child were done by the same person. And um, the lead character is supposed to be a hero? God, he's a cunt. I mean, I hate this guy. He cheats on his girlfriend. He doesn't give a shit about anybody. He shoots guns in the house. He's a dick. I, and he's the only one who doesn't get... He's one of the few people who don't get killed, and I want him to get killed, and no, 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 no such luck. Um, he's an asshole. He's one of my least favorite heroes of the Mystery Science Theater episodes. Um, and uh, Shorts, which is, let me see. There's a home economic story. Junior Rodeo Daredevil smothered in gravy. Uh, body care and grooming. Cheating. Uh, date with your family. Why study industrial arts and chicken up tomorrow? Uh, I think my favorite is the cheating short. Uh, I think that is a extraordinarily funny episode. Uh, the 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 cheating short just really is dark and it's shot grim and almost film noir uh, about this boy who cheats on his test and oh my god, it is the most evil thing ever. And it just prompts. This is Mike. This is a Mike episode. Mike, uh, Tom, and Crow. Oh, they bring it on with such great dark jokes. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the uh, shorts on Shorts Volume 1. Uh, Junior Rodeo Daredevils is a big favorite, uh, and there's quite a good jo uh, jokes on that one. Uh, and as well as Date With Your, f <laughs> a date with your Family, uh, which Tom uh, Servo referred to as the Woody Allen story. 
Uh, I don't know if that's a still funny joke to people. Uh, he, of course, married his stepdaughter. And, um, let's see, why I'd study industrial arts? You know, anything with, you know, square white dudes in the 50s, um, talking about industrial arts and shorts is just funny. Um, uh, there is no, um, there is no extra features on these, unfortunately. And, uh, they are still kind of plain silver, like the others, but at least they have, you can probably see, you know, the text on these so you can see them better. Uh, they eventually get better with that in uh, future box sets, which I will show you later. And uh, my personal favorite, oh god, I mean, this is actually a better box set than the, uh, than the first one. I mean, you can't go wrong. If you want to start Mystery Science Theater, uh, box set two is a good place. Uh, Angels Revenge, Cave Dwellers, Pod People, Orient. These are excellent episodes. And uh, the shorts is also a good way, too. I mean, uh, the shorts are usually like 10, 15 minutes and stuff like that, and it's a really kind of easy way. As a matter of fact, I find a lot of these on YouTube, actually. Uh, so this is probably uh, a better place to start uh, as far as getting into Mystery Science Theater. But uh, anyway, this one gets five RAM chips, and I loved it quite a bit. Push the button, Lindsay.